There's nothing more fun than stealing your kids' Halloween candy. What? Well, it's not like they eat it all anyway. And even if I chip in, there's usually so much left over. That is why I turn to my favorite mad scientist, Mama Gone Geeks Lynn Brunel, for some sweet experiments that you can do at home. Okay, so here's why candy science is brilliant, because it gives you something to do with all your kids' Halloween candy besides eating it. Absolutely. And Lynn here is going to show us some of these fun things to do. So what do we got first up? The first thing we've got to do is we got to make these gummy worms dance. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take some uh, seltzer water, pour it into a vase. You can do this in a glass. <laughs> okay. Woo! Wait, it's, wait, wait, I, no, no, I got it. it. I got no, it. Got it. Okay. Tap it. Tap it. Okay. Right. Pour it on in. And how much? Oh, just, just the, the whole thing. Why not? Oh, wait, I don't want to create a... And then we already made a mess. Just drop in your gummy worms and give them a little chance because they will... Dance? Yeah. All right, so... So the bubbles are going to stick to the worm and it won't be long now, but they'll stick to the... The gas is less dense, so it wants to come out of the liquid. It wants oh, to come I see up. the green and the yellow ones right. starting to lift. They are oh, they're so trying. They are. So you know what we can do is we can cheat it and just make them super light. Like eventually... The bubbles are going to get enough on the bottom of these little gummy worms. They're going to lift up the gummy worms. The gummy worms are going to rise up, and then the gas is going to escape, and the gummy worms are going to drop back down. Interesting. Should I add more, more soda? Yeah, it should happen. You know what? We might have to come back to it because these are. All right. Dance we'll come back to worms. that. I'm dance, telling you, they will dance. dance. All right. Well, I promise you. Now, the second thing we're going to do here, Skittles, you can use Skittles, you can use Reese's Pieces. Basically, you're painting with color. Um, and you've got color that is uh, made out of food coloring on here and is water soluble. Oh. So if you add some water to it, it's going to sort of dilute. So if you can gently, gently, gently pour gently. a little bit of warm water in the center. I don't center. know, you saw me open that soda bottle. Well, you trust gentle. me with this? Yeah, baby. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, stop. Okay. Now. We're going to wait on that one too because you're going to see what's going to happen is that the color is going to come off these and we're going to get a swirl in the middle. Ooh. The next one we're going to do, we're going to come back. Are they dancing there? They're not. Almost. All right. So I think the only good thing to do with candy corn is to throw it across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody doesn't not like a fan. candy corn. Not a fan. Um, so I make these really cool little launchers out of cups and balloons. Uh -oh. So what you do is you take a cup like this. Okay. You cut the bottom off. Plunk, and then you take a balloon and you cut the top off the balloon. All right. Like that. Uh oh. And then you just stick it around that and tape it. With, tape it. Okay. Yeah, with this. Tape it with. And I've got one that I've prepared. Before. Ah, so, so what I'm do I do? do it. Go ahead and load it up. Just with one? Two, you can put more than one if you want to. And then you're going to pinch the bottom of the thing. You're going to use potential energy. And then patooing, you're going to use mechanical energy and let it go fly. Go ahead. I won't do it at you. All right, ready? Whoa. Here, now let's see what else can do like more than one. Oh, wait, let's do more than one. It's like a mess. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fun this to do this. Awesome. You can put buckets in the yard and then um, you can use M&Ms or different colors. Have one kid get each color and then have them shoot and then see who gets the most in the bucket. Under I a minute or something like that. I love this. And then the kids are older. You can help them use this to explain potential energy. Exactly. My five-year-old may not get it, but older kids will. All right. We're starting to get our pumpkin in here. Oh. It'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. Okay. So this part, this is my favorite thing. This is um, Pop Rocks in a balloon with soda. Now, let's just tap the edges here because you're gonna do the Sprite, I'm gonna do the Diet Coke, we're gonna see which one has a better reaction. Okay. Pop Rocks, the reason they fizz is because there's carbon dioxide bubbles in the candy, and when you suck it, the saliva kind of melts the candy, and then the little fizzle on your tongue is that carbon dioxide bubbles. I had no but idea. The bubbles in soda is carbon dioxide bubbles too. And so when you've got a mix of gas and liquid like this, you can get a reaction um, because again, the soda is going to melt the candy. So you're just going to do the, put the lip around the top and okay, the whole thing like this. And then we're going to dump it in. Was... Oh, here we go. All right. We get do I have a good seal? <laughs> well, it should have been a little bit more explosive than that. These are old balloons, so I'm going to shake it. Oh, there we go. I'm going to, I'm going to, as obviously, I'm still nervous about these things. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm you got to stand over here. You oh, here I go. You got it. You got a lot of reaction going on. You can see the reaction. It is just a balloon that's leaking out. Oh, man. So, so this key is, is make sure you get 
Happy, healthy, young balloons. <laughs> Mine is definitely looking better than yours. It is. Mine's a But little. that's cool. That is so fun. And I love that, that, that there's, I had no idea, by the way, that there was carbon dioxide in pop rocks. That's what it is. The more you know, the so you learn the things on the new day. That's amazing. There well, this has been an absolute blast. <laughs> Literally <laughs> hanging out with you, Lynn, and learning all these fun science experiments that are also tasty. Mm -hmm.